what is up guys check out the amount of exp i have in the bottom here i have been going pretty hard i mean this didn't take that long to train up i think it took me about three hours well, less than three hours like two and a half three hours from 20 percent or so once you start one-shotting in arcane river it does get reasonably quick so let's get this level i saved it for the video let's get this level and then start working on the morass quest line which will one make my dailies from the previous places in arcane river quicker but also two give me more dailies so does it offset the extra dailies that i have to do with the amount of dailies that are taken away from the previous areas of Arcane River? I don't know, I would say no, just because I think the Morass dailies are basically just Vanishing Journey, but reskinned for Morass, so it'll take a decent amount of time, but here we are at level 230, which means we can, I believe, add one more thing into our V matrix, which I think I will add the boost node right here. Uh, where is it? Ah, this one. And then once we get to 235, we can expand a little bit more and put in another boost node of this once we get it. So I am going to start with the Morass dailies. I don't know how to get there. I think I can go here, no? Um, all right, yeah, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to figure out how to get to Morass, but I'm, I'm guessing here is where we need to go. So let's go here. All right, let's see if I, if I can find my way there. Which, which way do we go? Here, maybe? Navigation, all right, here we go. All right, let's see if this is the right place. All right, I think this is it. Is this it? Oh, cavernous, cavernous cavern. All right. Ah, there we go. Morass. Here we go. Yes. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at the graphics. I'm pretty excited for Morass. I was pretty excited for Arcana too, but I'm even more excited for Morass and I'm even more excited for Esfera. And I forgot to take a look. I don't I think it's like what 240 bill per level now, which wait, 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 let's take a look. 246 bill, geez. All right, and it was it was I think what, 120 beforehand, so it's gonna take. Well, if we assume I get the same amount of XP rates, it's gonna take me six hours. Yeah, that's a decent amount of time. Still not crazy, but. That's a, a sizable amount of time, so, I mean, wow, these graphics look pretty nice. We're definitely underwater somewhere. All right, what do we do? Wow, I'm liking these graphics. Oh, okay, here's the little flying things of doom. And the other good thing about getting it to Morass is that I'll definitely have 540 arcane force after I get the symbol which means I'll be able to start doing the CLP map with relative ease I want to say I mean I'm pretty sure I can one shot in CLP I don't think I can right now but it's only because I am not getting the 1.5x damage multiplier so after finishing the pre-quests here and getting the arcane symbol i will give it a shot but i'm just gonna be doing these pre's now and i'll see you guys if i get a droplet which would be nice or i complete the quest line which shouldn't take too long because i'm decently strong now hmm, maybe i just don't really have a good sense of lore but and maybe it's just because I space bar through a bunch of the quests, but I'm starting to wonder why are there a bunch of xenoroids in the bottom of a lagoon doing the black mage's dirty work? 
in a place called Morass, which supposedly also has people. I mean, I've seen people in Morass, like the bullies or whatever, the Bully Boulevard. Like, how does this fit in with the lore? Curious. Oh, wow. Look, it's that castle that kind of looks like that thing from, from Sword Art Online, which I just saw recently, by the way. It was okay. It was decent. Not as great as some people would have made it out to be, but certainly pretty interesting. Uh, uh, yikes. What is this? Yikes. 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 And we're good. So I'm not going to spoil much of the morass plotline, but from what I gathered, I spacebarred through a good bit of it, I will not lie. But from what I didn't spacebar, it was pretty good. Like, I gotta give it to Nex on their storyline for Arcane River. It's coming together, not really completely, but it's coming together and it's certainly very interesting. So, spacebar through most of it, but read some of it, you know, like this parts. Read these uh, diary entries, I think. Are pretty interesting if you just catch little bits and pieces of it it'll paint a pretty good story just FYI ooh looks like we got a arcane symbol hello game arcane symbol arcane symbol Oh, there's my spider. Poor spider. Look at him stuck in the Critias invasion, falling apart. Ooh, there's the Black Mage. Too bad the Black Mage is already dead. Nice. Okay, well, I will finish up with the cutscene. I'll record after the cutscene. Oh, is it already done? Okay, it's already done. All right, all right. Give me that arcane symbol. Did I get it? No. Space bar through this and... Oh, we got it. Okay. Nice, that looks pretty cool. It's an anti-magic stone there, which puts us at... Well, I'm not actually at 530. I'm actually only at... If I take this thing off... I'm actually only at 500, but because I have this on, I'm at 530, which means once I get this guy to level 2, I'll be able to do CLP. So let me work on this. I'm only at two days worth of daily, so let's, let's do today's dailies, and then we'll take it from there. Oh boy, well, let me tell you, these Morass dailies are very, very, how should we say it? difficult I guess I mean mostly because I don't have the levels yet like these dudes are 15 above me and I'm doing nothing to them so it's a little bit slow I think I've been doing this for about 10 minutes now I'm sure once I figure out which ones to re-roll uh, it'll be a lot easier but this is day one and the struggle is real <sighs> day one in the bag Let's get it. How many do we have? Eight. Wait, no. Yeah, eight. Alright. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, so in the previous video, we talked a little bit about my gains in Utah's, and fortunately I didn't have the coins to upgrade my Legion, but I do now, so let's do it. I think I got another row in the crit damage place, so... That's always appreciated. So the next one's at 4,500, which I'm honestly really close. So we'll be getting that soon. But yeah, we get another row here, which means I can take some of these guys and put them here. Uh, I guess I can leave him there. I can put another guy in here. So let's see who I want. Mm, int luck. Oh, definitely the luck. All right, so move this. And then I have another two, so let's see what I can do here. Um, I guess I can take him 
and rotate them like this. There we go. So we lose out on a little bit of attack, but we get crit damage. So what do we at now? We were at 10.5% crit damage, and then we got a little bit of uh, abnormal status resistance, which doesn't really matter that much. All right, who else do I have in here though? Oh, I should probably put in my wild hunter, huh? Um. I mean, I have a good amount of people I'm not putting in my Legion board yet. Marksman. So, I mean, this is good for now, I think, right? I got good crit, I got some good PDR, and then when I go bossing, I could just move some more pieces into here, like some of these pieces into here to get some more PDR, and then I think we'll have more than enough for a lot of bosses. You know, one of the best parts about Morass is that I only need to do one Vanishing Journey thing now. So let's see what I have. Joyful Urdas. No problem. And while we're at it, let's just go and open the Dark Lords of Darkness stuff. See if we can get lucky from recording. Alright, give me a dark, please. We're on two dark grins on the first day of Dark Lords, and then nothing else since. So give me something good. Whoops, all right, four more. All right, last one. Never lucky. And now we only need to do one Dream Defender, which is very nice, actually, because one, we don't get many coins from Dream Defender to begin with, so doing one less is certainly welcome. And lastly, now we only need to do two Dream Defenders. So I'm going to go do my Dream Defenders. I'm going to go do my Morass daily. I'll get 540 Arcane Forest, not for real. I'll have 510 for real, 540 with the Cluck Cluck Bean Farmer boost. And we'll see how I do in CLP. I'm probably going to have to wait until later today before I can actually get a map at CLP. But we will see. I'm pretty excited. All right, I think these quests are pretty chill because these guys are all within my level range, so I won't have an incredibly difficult time killing them. So I think today's dailies will be okay. All right, here we have it. Eight more symbols, which will take us to, boom, 540 arcane force. Now I just have to find a CLP map and see how I do one-shotting, although if I have to guess, I'm almost certain I'll be able to one-shot. Alright, so I wasn't able to find any maps, but this kind Hayato here, very strong, very beast Hayato, level 241, uh, kindly decided, uh, let me use this map to try out my one-shotting capabilities, and by the looks of it, it looks like I can one shot and that is really awesome because look at this now I can train at the best map in the game I obviously don't know the correct rotations to train on yet but I mean this is really nice so I guess from now on we are going to be spending our time doing a lot of CLP but I think um, like I said the goal here is to train up to five or 235 and then start up on my Kana Mule to bring it to Arcana and become an Arcane Farmer. Uh, how did it go? It went very well. Definitely one shot. Very so uh, thank you to this Hayata here for letting me use this map. If you guys see this Hayato should uh give some fame. So uh, yeah, anyway guys, I will record when I find a map later today, hopefully, and we'll see what sort of gains I can make with this 540 Arcane Force. Alright guys, so if you look at the percentage, I have been at CLP for a hot minute, and let me show you guys my rotation a little bit so you guys can see how I do it. 
Uh, I get about 62 bill XP per hour. I uh, ran that through the battle analysis. What I do is I have my Dark Lord's Omen. I use that and then I loot. Every time Dark Lord's Omen comes up, I loot. Okay, this isn't the rotation. Okay, now that after I loot, this is the rotation I do. Start in the top, go down, flash jump, flash jump, repeat, down, down, flash jump, flash jump, down, repeat, and then do this for hours on end until we get to 250. Sorry, scratch that, 275. Also, uh, if you can see there, I got three droplets, which means I sometime during whenever this session I got another droplet which means we're three out of 240 which means we're basically already there right we're basically already done pencil me in I have an arcane umbro weapon everything is good in the hood anyways I will see you guys in the next clip alrighty guys I am done with the grinding honestly pretty impressed with how far I got I am 73 percent of the way till 231 yeah, I mean, that's that's one night worth of grinding. CLP is certainly quicker. Sorry about that, the clip cut out, but CLP is certainly quicker than Frost and Thunder 2. I'm going to go sleep. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video. It's going to be a good one. Peace. Actually, actually, real quick, before we end, let's open up these 41 node stones that I got from... 73% of the leveling here. So this is all from this 230. So we'll see what we get. Okay, 41 used up. Let's see what we can do with our nodes. HS? No. Well, let's see our boost nodes here. Nope. Nope. Omen? Oh, we got two omens. So level 5 omen now. Very nice. See what we can do with these two boosts. Only one, sort of unfortunate. And then for this, three, very nice. Still don't get a level, I don't think, do we? Oh, we get one, all right, that's good. Good enough. And then this, all right, we get two, but we did. And then uh, I guess we'll take a look at whether we get any of the trios. I mean, we need one more of this trio, and then we're golden with our perfect trio. So let me take a quick glance. Fortunately, we didn't get the trio that we needed. So that's going to do it for me, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.